Articulation. Articulation is one of the most difficult techniques to teach, and I have to say it is one of the most often underdeveloped skills that I hear among prospective college students. Inability to clearly articulate limits our ability to effectively communicate musical ideas across the complete expressive spectrum. We can have great ideas in our head, but command of technique is required to convey that to the listener. Articulation is one of the most important techniques to master. Sound is initiated by air causing the lips to vibrate. How we release the air determines how clear the attack is as well as how harsh or easy the note sounds. Air can be released in three ways, from the lips, the throat, or most appropriately from the tongue. Hopefully I will be able to illustrate why the tongue is the easiest way to control attacks, but it is likely that you're watching this video because of poor results from the other two. It can be complex and it is not unusual for students to combine techniques like stopping the air in the throat as well as appropriately tonguing. Diagnosing the problem is challenging because we do not see any part of the process and are left only to rely on our ears to determine what the technical flaw is. Let's start by discussing the ideal tongue movement for clean attacks at a moderate dynamic. The tuba requires a more firm attack than other instruments to create clarity, and it can also get away with much harder attacks than other brass instruments. The tongue moves up in the mouth with the tip of the tongue striking the dental ridge. That's where the teeth meet the roof of your mouth. In the upward position, air coming from the lungs is blocked and then systematically released when the tongue moves downward. Say the word toe and you will feel that motion. Toe. Push your hand in front of your mouth and you will feel the controlled explosion of air into your hand. Toe. Toe. By varying how long the tongue stays up, you will vary the amount of pressure behind the tongue and consequently vary how strong that explosion is. There are two other syllables that create similar tongue movement and can be used to change the style of the articulation. Do creates a smoother attack that is somewhat less distinct, and low can be used to create the most legato of sounds. Although on the tuba, I find it really produces a sound perceived to be slurred, and therefore it's usually just better to slur the passage. You may be curious about the use of the vowel O in, on all of these examples. You can use other vowels, most notably ah, but it will create a more condensed and less resonant sound. I will talk about this more in another video, but being flexible with your sound can aid or hinder your clarity. I encourage you to experiment with all combinations to match the desired technique to what is in your mind's ear. For now, let's concentrate on using toe, since it tends to have the most dramatic results and is easiest for the teacher to hear if the technique is being actively applied. At about 60 beats per minute, speak the word toe. I would encourage you to feel the airstream to be able to see how active the air needs to be. And as an additional incentive, I like to use a hand motion as if throwing darts. The attack corresponds with the release of the dart and can help connect time to the tongue motion. Toe, 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 toe. Once you've observed this a few times, pick up the tuba and attempt to make it happen there. Go back and forth between the voice and the tuba until it's comfortable. To, 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 to. Once we are comfortable, the next step is to make it a habit. 
We can't do that in a five minute video, so I encourage you to add this to your daily routine. The articulation exercises that I use in my daily routine that I have made available to you on my website are more advanced and maybe things that you have to work towards. Start with simple control of attacks on every application. The first exercise of my warm-ups is a perfect place to start forming good habits. Think toe as you perform the initial attack and allow the slur to the second note to occur without tongue movement or stoppage of air in the throat. We've only scratched the surface on a discussion about articulation. Advanced techniques and articulation all begin with mastery of this basic skill. Eventually, we will need to work towards flexibility of style and an increase of agility. The main problems that we encounter when students articulate in the throat or from the lips center around their inability to articulate fast passages and vary the style throughout the needed spectrum of note length and accent. With beginners, these subtleties are often hidden by general sound production concerns while habits are taking hold of how they play. Concentrating on articulation concerns early will reap many rewards and avoid the headache of breaking an established habit. This is one of the videos that I hope to expand on after this initial project. For example, I have a strong desire to discuss slurring anytime I address tonguing. It promotes consistent airflow and pairing the reinforcement of smooth air with a precise tongue movement will lead to the best results. I look forward to exploring these ideas in the future and I would love for you to indicate your interest by leaving a comment. Thanks for watching.